Smack the camera. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody, it's Austin here from Mutation Creation and in today's video we have a featured more for you and it's going to be fire. Before we get into that, I just want to do a huge shout out to Sapphire Royals. Thanks for the custom cool shirt. Cool Mutation Creation on the side, it's kind of falling off a bit but still super cool. And they're definitely not slacking on the back. Really nice and cool. So let's get straight into the fire jean. Fire jean's been along for a long while. There's a lot of combos we have, and we're gonna show you all of them today. We don't have any just fires. We do have this, which is a fire het clown female. And you can see she looks fairly normal and pattern, but the brightness. Fires tend to have a really bright head stamp. She's not too happy and an overall creamier color than just an average normal. Their bellies pretty much look like a normal. Just a little bit brighter. So let's get into some combos. So, the first morph we're gonna show you is a fire yellow belly and this right here is one eye and you can see he has that name because he only has one eye even though he only has one eye he thrives nothing wrong with him as you can tell he eats amazing and he is once again a fire yellow belly so fire and yellow belly work really well together to make this really creamy looking snake with high blushings on the side they like to tend to drag some pattern along the end. And this one is also possible hep pied, so that could also be dragging all the pattern. But yeah, fire, yellow belly. Oops. And right here, if we step away from the yellow belly, we have an orange dream fire and this one is double het for clown pied and orange dream and fire work together really well they complement each other really brightening up the snake orange dream is a, a color enhancer a little bit of pattern but more color just like fire and they just really blow out all the color make it really creamy and make the pattern very clean as well Once again, that head stamp, and the orange dream is, dream is just amplifying it a bit. Now, if you take those two snakes and put them together, right here we have an orange dream, if not super orange dream, fire, yellow belly, double heck clown pied. And when you get the yellow belly in there, it really cleans it up, brightens it up. All the pattern connects along the sides with these really nice bright blushing in the belly. The head stamp is even more amplified. And you just get all these really nice tones in between the pattern. So yeah, once again, Orange Dream Fire Yellow Belly Double Head Clown Pied or Super Orange Dream Fire Yellow Belly Double Head Clown Pied. And right here, we have a Firefly, which is a pastel fire asphalt. Really bright combo, pastel and fire work perfectly together to give you that brightness that you want. 
And then the asphalt works like yellow belly and is bringing in all the flaming. And even adds some of the peach and yellows flaming at the top. Sorry, this one's also Enchi. I forgot to add that. So this is a pastel Enchi Firefly. Oh, Firefly Enchi Asphalt. Sorry about that. And then you have the pastel Enchi head right there. That's like a butterfly. And then when you add fire to it, really brightens it up. Really stands out there. It's just a crazy combo. And if you take the Enchi out of there and add Leopard, you get a Firefly Leopard Yellow Belly. And this one is 100% Het for Clown. Leopard changing the pattern and making it all wacky. The Pastel and Fire really brightening up the snake. And then the Yellow Belly giving you all the blushing along the belly and this purple color. Once again, the head's blushed out from the pastel and the fire. Pastel will do it on itself, but with the fire, it's really pronounced. So fire does have a super form. So if you were to breed a fire to a fire, you would hit something that looks similar to this. So right here we have a super fire female and they can come out all white. The super fire has a whole bunch of really nice patches on it. Even got some really cool ones on the head which I haven't seen too many. Sometimes you can just get a super fire that's all white just like this. Or you can get ones that have a lot of pattern and have this orange coming all the way down the back almost looking like a pied really cool but not only does super their fire have a super form it's also a lilac with vanilla so here we have a vanilla cream asphalt slash yellow belly and this looks similar to your typical vanilla cream except for this one's a little more yellow and has a little more gold tones to it. Vanilla creams are typically more creamy. A little more like the color up here. You don't get too much of these yellow speckling in, but the yellow belly really brings this in in this combo. And another thing the vanilla cream does is have a really blushed out head, but this one has a little bit of poop on it that I didn't notice before filming. Once again, vanilla cream, fire, vanilla, asphalt, or yellow belly. And right here we have another vanilla cream combo, but this is a vanilla scream. So this is a pastel vanilla fire, also 100% het clown. Just love how vanilla and fire work together. When you add the pastel, it really washes out the head. And this is the last vanilla cream combo I will be showing you. This one is really crazy, one of my favorites. This is a cinnamon enchi orange dream vanilla cream or fire vanilla and so this is a double allelic animal the enchi and cinnamon are going to be allelic and so is the vanilla and fire so if you breed this to a normal you can never produce anything less than a two gene animal so really powerful and it looks even more awesome than in my opinion than the power it has because not all the times do you get powerful snakes that look this cool So once again, 
Enchi Cinnamon Orange Dream Vanilla Fire. And now we're going to get into the clowns. Before we get straight into the clown, here we have a Fire Krypton. And if you don't know what a Krypton is, a Krypton is a Het Cryptic and a Het Clown. They're a Lelic, kind of like Toffee and Albino making the Toffino. When they come together, they make a Krypton. And here's Krypton with fire in it. And this one also happens to be Het Desert Ghost. It really changes the Krypton look. Brightens it up. Kind of added some peppering towards the bottom here as fire likes to do inside of the alien heads just a really cool combo I love the head on it you really get that really nice head stamp still showing even with the Krypton and she does not want to cooperate let's go straight into the clowns now So we don't have just the fire clown, but we do have this, actually we do have a fire clown, I'm lying. We have a fire blade clown, and she is right here. Fire works really well in clown to soften it up, it gives it a more creamier color, it really reduces the head stamp. If this was younger, you'd be able to see it a little better, but it kind of has like a fork going in there. The road split and then it comes back together in the middle almost like a leopard does. And this one also has blades, so it really cleaned up the pattern a lot. Banded over the side pattern. Now let's get into this. So right here we have a super fly clown, a super pastel fire clown, and she is so bright and looking really yellow. When they hatch out, they're almost white. And they have a little bit of yellow tinge on the sides. This line generally right here is white with a really blushed out head. And these things actually age really well. Give me a second and I'll pull an adult. So here's an adult Superfly Clown. And she retained most of her colors. She still looks very, very blushed out and bright. Compared to just a Super Pastel Clown, which would really brown out. Because pastel tends to brown out in Clown, but fire really helps and keeping that really bright tones. So let's get these two away. And right here we have a fire spot nose clown. One of my favorite clown spot nose clombos almost looks like we have a little robot on the head really wacky pattern was very surprised to see fire bring all this flaming from the belly almost thought yellow belly was in this but there was no yellow belly in the pairing so imagine when you put yellow belly into this the amount of flaming and intense oranges and maybe even reds you would get So super cool combo, once again, fire, spot, nose, clown. Fire and spot, nose, and clown seem to work really well together. And can't wait to see what we produce here in the future with them. <clears throat> now we're gonna jump into the pides. And before we do that, I wanna show you this really cool het pied. This is an Orange Dream Fire Enchi Calico. 100% het pied and it is insane 
Once again, Orange Dream and Fire work together really well at brightening things up. The Calico here worked amazingly. Bringing all, Orange Dream and Calico also work really well together. So brought all these really orange flaming coming up from the belly. And then the fire helped brighten that. And then you have the Enchi just throwing the pattern around and banding it everywhere. Looks super cool. And definitely not what I expected from this combo. Still got that really nice fire head stamp, but it looks like the Enchi is messing with it a bit. But really cool snake, so bright. Sometimes it feels like you need sunglasses to look at it. On to the next one. Right here we have a fire pied, and right now she is gravid. She was paired to an orange dream, yellow belly, banana, and she pied. So we're gonna make some really cool combos. Hoping to hit an orange dream, and she fire, yellow belly pied, which would be insane. Fire brings a lot of creamy colors into the pied. It's a lot lighter than your normal pied, as well as it brings all these oranges and flaming just around all the saddles. The fire head stamp is still here and very bright. Sometimes in pieds you might get a little bit of a head stamp, but none of them would be this bright unless it was a fire. Sometimes vanilla pieds can look similar. but they're not overall as bright as the fire. And then these last two snakes are two of my favorites. This one is in shed, but still looks awesome. It's an orange dream, fire, yellow belly pied. Amazing. We also have another one of these and he's breeding. This one I believe is sold, but just love how the three jeans come together, Orange Dream, Fire, and Yellow Belly. They really brighten up that head stamp, really took that Fire Clown head stamp, to, that Fire Pied head stamp, sorry, to the next level. And if you could see it out of shed, it'd be that much brighter, because right now it's looking really dull. And to end this video off with a bang, this is a Orange Dream Fire Yellow Belly Enchi Pied. And he is not in shed. Still has that really cool bright head stamp. But when you just put Enchi, you bring a lot of the pattern back because Fire Pieds tend to be a little more higher white. So Enchi bringing a lot of pattern back into Pied. Mixing the two together is a really good idea. Brought all these colors back in. Usually, these were a lot more purple when it was a baby, but fire brightens up as it ages in every shed, so they're kind of fading now. But still really cool, bright orange pied. Definitely not what I expected. It's such an amazing snake. So, that was it for today's featured morph, fire. Showed a lot of stuff. We have a lot more stuff to show, but a lot of them are in shed or breeding, so we couldn't bring them out right now. But maybe in a couple months, we'll go back to doing more feature morphs and actually getting back to the ones we already made with the new combos we have from this year and next year. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm not going to do Billy's hand symbols because I'm just not that energetic, I guess. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace.